Hello gentlemen and welcome to another video and in this one I'm going to uh, build uh, my uh, Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K rig and go part by part uh, and explaining to you what I have and how I'm assembling it and so on. I hope you enjoyed this video. So stick around and uh, enjoy. Okay, so let's begin. First of all, I want to talk about the tripod and the head that I have. This is a both Manfrotto legs and a Manfrotto head. The legs are pretty generic. I'm, I'm not sure of the mo what model they are. I'll leave a link in the description below. As for everything in this video, I will leave a link in the description below for all the stuff that you see here. So the legs are pretty generic and, and they're decent, uh, but the head is what I really like. The head is called the Nitro Tech. 612 there is the nitro nitro tech 608 and nitro tech 612 this one holds 12 kilograms and the eight obviously holds eight kilograms i got this one because my rig tends to get a little bit heavy so um so i thought that the 12 would be a nicer fit for me this is a really good head because it has counter balance thingy so uh if for it, now I can't really show it to you, I'll show it to you in the end, but you can actually just move the, the tripod like this and it will stay and vice versa if you do this or whatever position you need to balance it like kind of like a gimbal. But when it is balanced, it works very, very well. Okay, so on top of the Manfrotto base plate, I've got this Manfrotto base plate, which can take 15 millimeter rods. And on top of that, I have another quick release plate by a small rig as well. I really like small rig stuff, as you can probably tell, they're very, very affordable and it's solid, solid quality. So moving on, let's just put on the camera. This is the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K here, I'll show it to you. And uh, attached to it I already have uh, the little uh, power cable that which goes to my V-mount battery. And attached to the camera, I've got the Black Mag the Blackmagic, the Sigma 18 to 35. So let's attach the camera here and like this like so okay so as you can see for instance now it's falling a little bit forward for instance if this was the only thing i had on my rig i could just simply adjust it with my plate and balance it and voila it is now not falling anywhere but there's another thing you adjust which is this knob here i don't know if you can see it on this knob here which will adjust the tension back or forth that you need to get a perfect balance but moving on so on top of the camera here as you can see i've got the sd holder also from small rig already attached to my small rig cage sounds like a sponsored video by small rig but it's really not um, and that's the core okay so let's start adding stuff to this what i'm going to do now is that i'm going to add some rods these are 15 millimeter rods from small rig as well actually the other way around let me just turn this so you guys can have a better look at that like this now i'll need room at the front for my follow focus and my mat box so i'm gonna push these babies out just like this and i think that's pretty decent i'm going to lock everything in place i can always adjust it later um, yeah, seems decent actually. This one is a little bit too forward. That's it, that's more like it. Uh, okay. It's a little bit longer than the other. Okay. Also, I have these extension rods for uh, from Small Rig as well, which I just attach here, and it will give me a lot of leeway in the back so I can attach. Uh, the V-mount battery and uh, when I want to switch to um, to a shoulder mount and I'll, I can also add the uh, shoulder well the shoulder mount the shoulder pad if you will so these are the rods basically actually I think I might go with them a little further because I need room for the shoulder pads the, the, I'm sorry, the dual handle to attach to um, to the rig. Okay, so I'm going to lock these out. I'm probably going to have to adjust it as I go because I can never really tell. So this is the rig as it is. 
So what I'm going to attach now is probably, I'm gonna take the lens cap off and I'm probably going to attach the follow focus first. This is a Fak uh, DP, DP500 Mark III. Pretty decent follow focus, I have no complaints. Okay, and here we go. I'm gonna attach it here to the back a little bit and it should be working pretty well. Yep, there it is, it's working as you can see. No problem there. Okay, so as you can see now, for instance, in the tripod, the rig is falling a little bit to the front. So what I do is I adjust the gimbal, the, 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 the weight again, once again. And there you go, and it's not falling anywhere. Uh, moving on, moving on, let's attach the the top handle, this is a top handle from Small Rig as well. And this goes here. And never can never do this really right because of the... Uh... Okay, and the monitor obviously goes here. Next thing up is, I suppose, the monitor. Okay, so the monitor I'm using is the Atomos Ninja Inferno. Uh, I used to use this with my GH5S, but I don't use that anymore because I prefer the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K. And I'm going to attach this here. Okay. So that's attached. And as you can see, the rig is still balanced, actually falling a little bit forward. So what we do is once again, we adjust the plate. So this is the monitor. This is uh, the Atomist Ninja Inferno, as I told you. And now I'm going to attach the matte box. The matte box, which has the wrong ring. Uh, I'm going to use, I think, this one, yeah. The matte box is also a Fotka DP500 Mark III. It comes with a bunch of these rings, which you can use, um, you know, to attach to whatever lens system you have. And here we go. I'm going to attach the matte box and voila, as you see, it's already wanting to fall forward. There it is. If I let it go, you see, so we're going to have to balance it again. So further back, further back, further back, and there we go. I really love this tripod head. I think it was a great investment. It's a little bit pricey, but it's worth it. Anyway, this is it. Now, what we're missing is, actually, I think I need to move the rods a little bit further to the front because I don't have room for my dual handle. So let's do that, the rods. Let's advance them if I can. Always tricky when you have stuff already Okay, that's moving forward. That's pretty decent right there. Okay, might have to adjust this later. Okay, so what I need to do now is move my map box and my follow focus a little further back. So here we are. There we go. Oops, oops a daisy. Okay, so there we are. The follow focus is good to go. Now we're going to adjust the matte box. So push it a little forward and there we go. So now, as you can see, the camera remains relatively balanced. So that's good news, I suppose. And uh, what we're going to add now is the V-mount battery plate this is from seven oak um pretty generic uh v-mount battery plate it's got a few dc plugs and an extra um i forget the name now of the of the plug uh the d-tap extra d-tap there so got the microphone a little bit on the way here but we can manage so i might have this a little bit tightened there you go. So 
we have two. There you go. I think that's... Okay, so now we... Lock this in place and now we have the V-mount battery. Okay, V-mount battery plate, not the V-mount battery. So now as you see, it's falling a little bit forward. So once again, we balance it a little bit. So the rig maintains balanced. And we're gonna add the battery, which will probably make it go forward a little bit, but actually backwards. So there it is. Of course, as you see, it's completely going down. So what we do is we release it and it's balanced once again. Once again, these tripod Manfrotto heads are amazing. So moving forward, I hope this is not too much in the shot. It probably is a little bit, but it's worth it. It's not about me, it's about the rig. Uh, what I'm going to do now is connect the, um, the camera to the D-tap. And let's see if it's working. It should be working. Okay, so we turn this on. Actually, it is not. Let me. Sometimes I have this issue. There it is. Uh, I thought the D taps would go either way, but apparently there's a correct way to mount it. I I'm not sure why that happens, or at least this plate is sensitive to that. So the way I had it before, the camera wasn't really picking up the V mount, only the internal. Uh, LPE6 battery from Canon. Anyway, moving on. This is connected. Now we're going to connect the monitor to the... Actually, yeah. And we test to see if it's working. Okay, turning on the monitor. This is a good thing. This one can actually uh, move uh, back, forward, tilting like this. And as you can see, we've got a feed, hopefully. No, we don't because I don't have anything connected to it yet. I need my keyboard. So now HDMI cable into the monitor. I got this coiled cable so it doesn't, you know, for cable management, basically. Connected to the camera and we should have a feed there we go and voila as you can see we have a feed and yes yeah, so the rig is getting a little bit uh, how do you say a little bit sensitive but we're on the way to good things so this is basically how I would, how I would have it if uh, I was just using a tripod, so basically this is what you get. So let's recap, B-mount battery, monitor, um, excuse me, uh, the, the matte box, and here the follow focus, which I didn't properly show it to you, there it is. And in terms of cable management, I like it, I think it looks decent. The only cable really tangling is this one from the monitor, but I don't think I can get it any shorter than this. Maybe I can, I have to see. Anyway, this is the best I can do. Sorry, the microphone is a little bit on the way here. And this is the rig as, um, as I would use it this way. If I wanna go shoulder mount, there we go. Got this little thing from, I don't, this is not small rig, I think it's Canvate, I think it's called. Uh, or something like it's a little, slightly cheaper than the small rig one. I just got it because it was basically the same thing, but slightly cheaper. This is the shoulder pad. I'm going to attach it to. Okay. So I got it attached to the rig now. I'm trying to see how this tightens. And it's pretty good there. As you can see, this is the shoulder pad here. Uh, it works very well. And I'm going to add the dual handle. The dual handle is from Small Ring, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember. Uh, I think it is. And this goes right here. 
right in front of the rig. So let's get that completely locked in. Okay, it's not going anywhere, I think. Okay, and now I'm going to show you the balancing part I was talking about before. Okay, so as you see, if I let this go, maybe it's easier. If I let this go, it's just gonna go away. So what I need to do is adjust the tension here on this little knob. Okay, so I need to adjust the tension till I start feeling some tension. So it's still falling, still falling, still falling. I think I'm going the right way, yeah. Okay, so now as you can see, it's not going anywhere, okay? But if I let go like this, it still wants to go down. So we give it a little bit of leeway. What this means also that it's not perfectly balanced. So let's balance the rig a little more. Give it some, okay. The goal here is to let it go and it stays there, come back up and it stays there and you go back here and it stays. Okay, this is what this head is all about. So wherever I move, now it's perfectly balanced. The camera just stays there, okay? So, boom. This makes panning and all that good stuff very, very, very easy, okay? As you can see, stays there, moves, and it's really good. I am sweating because I have this light on me and I'm moving around and I'm picking up stuff. Sorry, I hit the microphone there. Anyway, this is the rig basically, guys. It, obviously, if I wanted to um, shoulder mount this, all I had to do was just take off the plate from the from the tripod and I would operate it. I, would just, I just assemble it so you guys can have an idea. And this is basically the rig. The only thing that's missing is obviously the SSD because I actually have it attached to the computer, which is a one terabyte T5 from Samsung. And also I usually attach, so when I'm on, you know, some types of shoots, I attach my uh, wireless transmitter from Holy Land, the Mars 300, in case that is needed. So this is a very flexible, rig also i have a very tiny very short not tiny very short uh, S um, usb c cable to go into the uh, camera here i'm sorry into the camera into the ssd but i'm not going to do that now because the ssd is not here and this is basically it i hope you enjoyed this if you have any questions please let me know in the comments if you uh want to know which part which parts i'm using i'm going to leave as i said earlier links to all the products used in this video in the description below. There will be affiliate links, which means if you use those links, you will be helping me with, with no extra cost to you. And that's basically it. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.